Oh, that messes up the screen, messes up the camera. I got you this one. It does, yeah, a little bit. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Good. Hey, everybody. This is Michael Everive. I'm at 4th and Seneca, our favorite Starbucks of yesteryear. Anyway, I just woke up. Right, in a matter of speaking in my mind, I wanted to tell y'all how to build a ship. Well, first you gotta have some money, and then when you get some money, follow these directions. Go to Home Depot, right? You gotta have a place to do this too, like your front lawn. Go to Home Depot, right, and get you some some boards, and uh, get yourself a little shovel. Get yourself some two by fours or two by tens. Get two by tens. We're gonna build us a boat, so we're gonna need we're gonna build the bottom of the boat, the hole of the boat, and uh, we're gonna build it out of concrete. So you're gonna need uh, several bags of uh, quick crete, probably I don't know 80 pound bag, probably you're probably gonna need about 10 of them at least. Well, you're probably gonna need about 50 of them. Get 50 of them. Get a pallet of them. 40 on a pallet, I think. And uh, so anyway, you're gonna need your front lawn, right? You're gonna cut all the grass out and roll it up. And then you're going to get some two by fours and you're going to make forms. I mean, you're going to, when you square out that lawn on your lawn right there, right, flat piece, you got to make sure it's kind of flat, right? You're going to, uh, you're going to get, you're going to need some uh, rebar. You're going to tap the rebar into the ground and then you're going to get some little clamps and put them on the two by fours. And then you're going to, you're going to, you're going to tap the rebar and you're going to make a big square, big long rectangle on your front lawn. And that's going to be the concrete. Cause you're gonna need a concrete. We're gonna make a flat bottom boat, and then, uh, well, dig down. When you take that grass up, dig down about eight inches. We're just gonna make a big slab of concrete, and then place the two by four uh, in there. Cause we're gonna want it. Well, that that might be too much for y'all. Now I'm saying maybe for me too. But we're gonna build a big flat bottom boat like that, right? It's gonna be eight by by sixteen. We're gonna need a forklift truck to get it up out of that concrete. And if we can't get one, well it's gonna be our patio. <laughs> anyway, right, so we're near the water, right? We gotta we gotta get in the back of the pickup truck and need a couple houses, right? How about you reckon something like that? Eight eight <laughs> forty packages of concrete? 80 pounds. Who that fucking thing's gonna be heavy, man? But that's all right. That's all right, right? Uh, we might have to build a little differently, though. <laughs> no, that'll float. <laughs> like a ton of break. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so we gotta figure this out, right? <laughs> we gotta be a little smarter now, right? A smarter, right? <laughs> I was taking a patty away, because I need to sit down. I need some more chairs to sit down and get a table to figure all this out on paper <laughs> on my computer here, right? I was I was figuring out. I thought I would turn this darn thing on, right? Because I always want to be on TV. <laughs> well, you give me somebody to talk to. <laughs> kind of animated. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking the other day, right? I would think I was I was Donald Duck at Disneyland one year. My, my homeboys on the police and sheriff department took me over to Disneyland. I got to stand there uh, on a, on a on a tourist day and say hello to everybody, and then they come. Oh, I was Snow White too, I think, but I'm not sure. <laughs> I was there a couple different times wearing the uh, wearing the costume of the cast, <laughs> and they're just standing there greeting everybody, <laughs> smiling at them, waving at them and stuff. I just remember that it was so long ago, I forgot, man. Ah, uh, he does something, man. I passed the. Uh, I shouldn't brag, right? I took the exam to run an amusement park in New Jersey, because I'm from Philly, right? I took it twice. I passed it both times, so they took me to Disneyland. Let me be one of the characters from uh, from Disney, like from uh, Mickey Mouse Club, and then another one. So it was a long time ago, man. It was, it was a fun time. But anyway, we're building a ship, right? We're gonna make it fiberglass instead. Does that sound better? Easy to carry it, right? You get up all by yourself. You have to, and all that stuff. <laughs> right. So I was just thinking about that earlier. I spent a lot of time alone. You can tell, man. <laughs> anyway. I miss my folks. Uh, yeah, I, I know I don't talk to them now. I'm a minister. They're associate ministers. They they like yeah right. <laughs> you know, ain't no way this kid is, is ordering me around after I used to beat the shit out of him, teaching 
teaching me respect, right? Anybody ever do that kick, they fuck your ass, and I'm not going to be the one. Because I'm leaving you, boy. <laughs> what would they do that for? These eyes are crying. <laughs> now, nah, anyway, so uh, instead of pouring concrete on, we're going to get some fiberglass. We're going to make a fiberglass bottom boat. Doctor, I always want a fiberglass bottom boat. I really like fiberglass. Let's ask this gentleman. Excuse me, sir. Have you, have you, are you like me? Have you always wanted a fiberglass bottom boat? Well, yeah, I want one right now. I want brand new. As well. <laughs> I found these. Oh, this, this, they're for tickets, man. What did you got there? Uh, I was wondering. I was hoping it was one of those black African cars we rode around. Oh no, no, I don't know what that Something is. Something like Uber. Or what the hell? Oh, Uber, Uber, yeah, yeah, Lyft. That's the same thing. Yeah, I think. What kind of taxi will take this? Another I don't know. You gotta ask around, man. Hey, would you have to have a cigarette? I'm, I'm, I'm calling Pan and you get me a drink. Oh, you guys. Oh, okay. We well, have a good night. Anyway, so uh, pretty good idea, right? We dig around. With, a friend of mine told me how to build it that way, and uh, I was thinking about uh, putting together my own generator. And the way I was going to do that was I was going to use a like a screw vise, and I was going to put a great big uh, spring on there from for like a shock absorber, and then it, in order to power it up, and then I just. I just crank it down like that with a suicide handle like that. And, uh, that'll give me enough, enough of a, uh, hey, excuse me. Hey, hey, excuse me, guys. Hey, would you happen to have a cigarette? Oh, that's okay. Have a good night, okay? There's a Starbucks right at the end of this street here, about four, five blocks down. It's open right now. If you want to have a cup of coffee, go right on down there. Well, I guess I guess I'll clear it out because, you know, for these knuckleheads around here of information, you know, they're not allowed to smart off to your United States Marshal. And if they got a problem with it, and they so big and bad and tough, well, here y'all the witnesses. They don't like me. And there's people in this city, right, that are part of the United States Armed Services. They, I'm a United States Marshal on Social Security, and they're telling me, fuck you, you're not allowed to stand outside of 7-Eleven. A, a Starbucks or a fucking wherever they got internet, like we'll kick the fucking ass of the other United States Armed Services that say you are allowed that because this is a public sidewalk and that free Wi-Fi. If they got a problem with it, they say something. Come over here, look me in the eye, and talk your shit. So anyway, <laughs> what? Uh, I mean, this is like the gayest corner in Seattle right here, and I'm not gay. And I've been coming in and out of Seattle on 43 years. I've been coming in and out of Seattle almost 40 fucking years. You play these fucking idiots around here, man. They just they don't know when to fucking take a fucking break. They like the horniest fucking dickheads on the fucking planet around here sometimes. I mean, literally. Like calling me, I'm United States Marshal. I, I, I'm, I'm the commander of the entire armed services. Except I'm like enforced retirement. It ain't because they hate me. It's because I've been around the world three or four fucking times in about ten fucking walls. If you want to know my fucking business. So if you're ready to go. Let's go! Don't worry about what the fuck I'm doing. Magistrate, I'm a marshal. Don't worry about the fuck I'm doing. Stand there and help the customers.
anyway, now I'm a little upset. I'm building my boat, man. We're on the way to put people on it, right? You know what the marshal do, right? <laughs> Sheriff! <laughs> Police this. <laughs> What's up? Remember me? No, I gotta get going. I want you to get a good look at this face, okay? Because I'm not fucking with y'all. <laughs> I was the police chief of Seattle, and I was a King County Sheriff, for real. Check the record, boy. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and stuff like that, you know, <laughs> ain't, ex ain't exactly, you know, like, go away. You ever hear those saying, you know, sort of like, once the police officer, always the police officer. Once the sheriff, always the sheriff. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> you know how people, many people it takes to have one police officer sworn in? Do you really think they're all dead? <laughs> Is that an idea? <laughs> they're just all down in L.A. They're watching me on TV right now, probably. But I gotta go. I'm gonna be smart as more, okay, guys. I'm hungry, though, man. I had a little bit of a hamburger. Somebody left over there. <laughs> I gotta go. Thanks a lot. You've been a wonderful audience. I'm sorry I was yelling. Please forgive me. But I was on the air. And, and well, I'm a minister. I'm practicing. Back, practicing. Helping people call on the Lord God Almighty. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen and amen. <laughs> hey, you folks, have a good night here. Thank you.